Hi, I am Associate Professor Dr. Didem Ishnek, and today um, I would like to mention about uh, our uh, works uh, that we prepared with uh, Associate Professor Dr. Gürsü Maşıksoy. And the title of um, the work, uh, Evaluation of the Effectiveness of Museum Education in Virtual Environment with 3G Videos. Let's start with um, introduction. Um, today, as we know, um, 3G uh, videos have become a popular uh, technology preferred by users and instructors. They provide an immersive um, educational experience and also um, facilitate uh, learning in the educational process. And in the related um, research, it in indicated that through 3G videos, students can um, choose which part of the image in the videos to access what they want, and thus uh, accessing individual and personalized content. And also, videos are effective in keeping students' interest in the lesson alive and providing motivation. And at this point, the uh, utilization uh, of these videos should be discussed, and the usage of 3G videos are really crucial, especially in arts, art educators, and museum education. And these videos can make students feel like they are taking a real tour in the museum. And what is the advantages of the usage of these videos in the museum? I would like to mention about as well. These videos, uh, which make learning more fun, can, they can also be um, effective in helping students concentrate abstract concepts in the museum and reinforce uh, their learning more easy. So they can learn, students can learn more uh, permanent. And it can be said that the usage of these videos have many advantages uh, as well at this point. And what are the subjects of the research uh, generally? that uh, when, uh, our, when we um, examine the literature, uh, the research prepared in this field are generally prepared on the effects of tools with 3G videos technologies and user, user experiences in museum. And also there are research on the use of 3G videos, photos, videos, and virtual reality technologies as well. So uh, in this context, there was no research, as we can understand, uh, which students determine the effectiveness uh, of the museum education course of effect, uh, activities carried out in the virtual environment supported by 3G videos. And our aim of the research is to uh, determine and emulate the effectiveness of museum education in a virtual environment supported 3G videos. And first research question is did museum education with uh, 3G videos make a significant difference on students' learning achievement? And the second one is, um, what are the students' perceptions of museum education with 3G videos? And the model of research is mixed research methods, as we know, in which quantitative and qualitative data are collected together and was used in the research. And also, in addition, uh, as in experimental design, one of the real experimental design post-test, control group randomized design was applied as well. In this research design, uh, the study group is randomly divided into research groups and experimental and control, and the scale uh, is applied only after experiment. And the, um, our research participants, uh, the study was conducted in the fall semester, of course, um, 2022 and 2021 um, and two, um, and as we can see from the table as well, table one, um, classroom teaching, uh, teaching uh, department students, uh, they are uh, approximately 32, and uh, they are uh, again 29 preschool teaching students as well. They enrolled in the museum education practice course. And data were co collected with learning achievement test and also interview form. Um, and let's mention about some details of learning achievement test. A multiple choice uh, achievement test was developed by uh, uh, researchers, uh, me and uh, Associate Professor Gerson Ashipso. And the achievement test uh, comprised uh, 30 questions with four options. Item discrimination index uh, were collected using the SPSS data analysis program. And for the qualitative data, same instructor interview form uh, we used, 
and it used by researcher again and uh, the form was further evaluated by experts as you can see the amount of the experts as well and the quality of data of the study uh, were analyzed with content analysis and our uh, question is in interview form what are your thoughts on museum education using 3g videos and for experimental procedures um, indicate some details in the first week students were randomly assigned to the experimental group and the control group and starting um, from uh, second week, week um, experimental group students were trained in a virtual environment supported by 3g videos while the control group students were trained in a virtual environment supported but by um, 2G videos. At the end of the um, five-week uh, training period, um, an achievement test was applied to both groups. And furthermore, the experimental group were uh, individually interviewed for the 3G videos. And it will be more, um, uh, of course, uh, useful uh, for you to uh, hear about some details of procedures for experimental group as well. The activities uh, lasted uh, a duration of three, uh, five weeks approximately and were conducted through uh, the Moodle uh, platform which provides access to Edpuzzle videos and uh, we sent links for students uh, to participate in the activities, activities and share relevant application as you can see from the screenshot as well for Moodle. And in the second stage uh, of the implementation, the works exhibited in the 3G videos of the museum were narrated uh, and questions related uh, to the works were uh, incorporated um, into the videos. And this process was achieved using Adobe Premiere Pro software, as you can see uh, from again the screenshots for Adobe uh, Premiere software. And during the second stage of the implementation, general information about the artifacts displayed in museum environments was uh, on the way to the students using the storytelling uh, method in which uh, the artifacts were given a voiceover at puzzle. Uh, there is at puzzle screenshot as well. In the final stage, the implementation. An uh, achievement test was applied to the experimental group, as I mentioned before as well. Additionally, um, 10 or 12 minutes interview were conducted with the students in the uh, experimental group to assess their perceptions of the effectiveness of the application. And the detail of procedure for control group. In the control group, museum education activities were carried out but by using 2G uh, videos instead of only 3G videos. And lastly, uh, I would like to mention about results as well. The first one is uh, quantitative uh, achievement uh, data. Yes, the uh, analysis revealed a significant uh, difference in learning achievement test scores there is a significant difference um, scores between the control and the experimental groups so the utilization of 3g videos may enhance students academic performance and learning outcomes uh, we can say and uh, in quality findings uh, under this heading, student perceptions of the effectiveness of museum education in a wide virtual environment supported by 2G videos. Um, in quality findings, data are categorized into three principal terms. First team, uh, museum activities supported by 3G videos. Second subject, impact on the learning process. And the third subject is issues. Um, within the scope of the first team, the majority of the students uh, state that the museum activities supported by these videos provide an immersive in environment. So they found this um, environment very interesting. Students started that they learned by having fun. 
and their motivation increased uh, thanks to these uh, activities. And within the scope of the second theme, the majority of students state that this environment provides permanent uh, learning. So they also state they could observe the works better and obtain more comprehensive uh, information about the works. And the students also state that they wanted to do uh, more research on the works. And last, uh, within the scope of the third team, um, the majority of the students uh, state that uh, the students had uh, internet interpretations during the activity. They also state that they had problems uh, while using wire glasses, VR glasses. And uh, at the end, for discussion and conclusion, we can say all the findings obtained from the research revealed that 3G degree videos and museum activity application uh, as effective, um, and they provide uh, an immersive educational experience uh, to the users. And also in the literature, there are research which supports the findings of the study. And our recommendations uh, involving teachers in research by identifying their educational needs using 3G videos and designing in service training programs for this purpose could be valuable of uh, exploration and future studies, again, adopt applications that enable um, its students to use virtual reality to improve students' experience. Thank you very much to listen to me. Thank you.